We turn now to the Arizona Senate race, where Democrat Jim Peterson is trying to unseat Republican Senator John Kyle. Peterson currently trails Kyle by only six points, 47 percent to 41 percent, in the latest University of Arizona poll. Jim Peterson joins us now. Welcome. According to the polls, as we've just said, you are closing a gap with Senator John Kyle, which in any other year in this red state would be really surprising. Um, do you have enough time to pull ahead, given, uh, given how much time is left to this final, final nine days? Oh, I think we do. I mean, there's, there's a lot of undecided people out there. There's an overall mood that the country is in the wrong direction, that we need a change. And I think that's going to culminate on November 7th with a, with a win in Arizona. Um, what about the Iraq issue, though, in Arizona? How is that cutting for you? I think it's playing in Arizona the way it's playing in the rest of the country. Uh, just, just a feeling of an incompetent administration that's prosecuting a war that's really not adding to our safety and security. You know, we need to get our young men and women off of the streets of Baghdad, uh, off of the streets of the urban, other urban areas in Iraq where they're being killed. I mean, that's not adding to our safety and security. We need to maintain a presence in the region. But the way we're prosecuting this war is a disastrous way, and it's not, it's not, it's not in our best interest. Uh, has John McCain played an influential role here, the very popular senator from Arizona? Well, yes, he is very popular, and he has appeared in a couple of ads with Senator Kyle. But again, the, the overriding issues in Arizona, you mentioned Iraq, uh, also immigration, all of the other kinds of immigra uh, issues that, that really play well into the, into the message that we're delivering to the people of this state. And covering all of these, covering all of these, is this sense of wrong direction, is this sense of a need for change. Uh, so again, I think, I think that is really going to win the day for us. What would you do on Iraq that John Kyle wouldn't do? Well, again, he votes with the administration 97% of the time. He supports this incompetent policy. He says, stay the course. I say, change the course. Again, get our people off of the streets. We're fighting a religious, a civil, a cultural war, and we're asking our young men and women to be policemen, uh, to be referees in a fight that we shouldn't be involved in. Uh, get them into forward operating bases where they can respond to a direct threat to the security and the safety of the U.S. That, to me, makes sense. We've got to strip away the political blinders and the ideological blinders and prosecute a policy that's really going to add to our safety, and we're just not doing that. Now, one of the criticisms of you has been that you are putting your own money in. How much of your own money have you put into this campaign? Is this an election that you think you can buy? Well, you know, we can't be competitive against a two-term incumbent unless we have the resources. But if you want to talk about money, where is John Kyle's money coming from? It's coming from special interest groups back in Washington, D.C. that he's been serving faithfully for the past 20 years. You know, oil interest, tobacco interest, pharmaceutical interest, none of which have a significant presence in Arizona. He really hasn't come back to the state that much to concentrate on the problems of our state. Uh, so we're giving the people of Arizona a choice this year, and I'm happy to do that. Well, Republicans are known for their very effective get-out-the-vote campaign. What are you doing on the ground to try to organize voters to get out to vote? Well, we have a very effective state party organization that's been building for about the last five years. It's really the organization that put our governor, Janet Napolitano, into office four years ago. Uh, so we're quite confident that we're going to be able to match the other side, either side in terms of get-out-the-vote. Problematic for us in past cycles uh, in off-election years. But again, I think people understand the importance of this election. Understand that all of the offices that are up in Arizona right now could determine our state's destiny for the next 15 to 20 years. So I don't think there's going to be any problem in motivating people to get out to vote. Okay, thank you very much, Jim Peterson. It's a sleeper race that could end up a lot closer than people think. And we should tell our viewers that we have asked Senator Kyle to come on, and we're hoping that he will join us sometime during this week. Thanks. Thanks very much, Mr. Peterson. You are tuned to MSNBC's all-day coverage of Decision 2006. Up next, how several House seats have turned Indiana into an intense battleground.